Hey everyone. So I thought I'd do a vid about how I set up my streams. So my, so my Zwift area is, um, well, it's a little bit of a shambles, I've, I've got to admit. So you can kind of see it there. Um, lights, and they're just the cheap ones you get from Amazon. Um, there's my main screen with the camera. Uh, that's a GoPro that I've got set up there, um, which works really well. Uh, we've got some additional lighting there thing. Uh, this is the main stand I have my laptop on, which is right next to my bike. Oh, I've got the fan down there. I have one fan, but I do, I am next to a window, so that's okay, I usually have the window open. And then I've got, oh, got my hut. And then uh, the second laptop, which is there, and obviously a microphone, bike, and uh, the trainer. For any, any race I'm gonna stream, is the first thing I do is I, have a look for the race I want to do and log into or join that via the companion app or on Zwift. I then head over to the race I'm going to do in this case. All right, so these are the Zwift events and I'm going down and we're doing a race tonight at 9.30. So the first thing I do is create a thumbnail that I'll use to set up the stream with. So I use GIMP for doing my thumbnails. And so I'm just opening up uh, GIMP now. And what I typically do is open up a, um, an existing template that I've used. In this case, I think one of the, the ZRL template I used. And, and so what I'll do is I'll go through and um, hide or delete the layers that I don't need for this particular um, thumbnail. So I think I'll probably use the Watopia one because Dust in the Wind doesn't really have a, an iconic kind of an image. Go and change the text on the bottom. Thought, or maybe I could change the actual background a little bit <clears throat> to something to do with the actual tour. So I think I end up, ended up uh, downloading this background. So that I'll create a folder here. We'll call it Chasing Tour 2023, and then I can start putting all the assets in there. export the um, the image into a P, uh, JPG which you just may not be able to see cool all right so that's the thumb thumbnail done we then go and schedule a stream so I typically try and just pick up the details from a previous stream I've done and we reuse those settings and we give it a new name this will be part of a new series I thought I'll create a new playlist 
chasing tour 2023 and I'll just make sure everything's okay I've got to put some other tags in I'll do that later next live chat live chat replay is enabled that means when we watch it you can see all the uh, chat messages coming through at the time they were placed so I thought I typed in uh, 915 there so we hit done and the stream is scheduled I thought I'd better go back and change that time where is it yep so we're going to do this at 9.15, start the stream off, and it's ready to go. Okay, so we've got the thumbnail done, and now it's time to set up the stream. Well, to set up the uh, OBS, which is what I use for streaming. Um, that's That handles all the scenes, all the images, um, and controls the actual uh, content being streamed to YouTube. So in this case, I'm going to go and create a new scene collection. So that allows me to modify what I want to show for this race or this series of races without having to recreate it every time. So we're changing the text uh, on the front screen to uh, reflect the race that we're doing, the details. Uh, this is the, the scene or the, the screen I use when I'm warming up. And so people who join the stream um, can see what, what's going on for the stream, which race we're doing, what the distance is, the climbing. So now we look at the uh, next scene, which is the route overview. And I usually jump into the Swift Insiders website and what's on Swift. And that gives me the animated maps. Uh, I normally do a, um, a screen grab, like a screen recording of the map. I save that and use that in the route overview. So I've got the route, the little, and I've uh, added the details about the route. So it's in Watopia, dust in the wind, the distance, how much climbing per lap, how many laps there is and the unhappiness level which I like and now I'm adding in the power-ups um, add the text in mess around with the layout I'm just going to go and change the background uh, still the Mercury background from the last race uh, going in the back backgrounds folder and I'm looking for something along the lines of dust in the wind and now we move on to the next scene, which is the schedule. So it's kind of nice to know what sort of races are coming up next. So I'm just going to modify this and rename this to the Chasing Tour. Okay, so then we do rider profile. I update the bike I'm going to ride, what kit I'm going to ride. Uh, again, for those that are interested, it makes it a little bit easier to follow uh, while racing. Just going to go back into my bike overviews. Yep, that'll do the trick. Put that in there, resize the black border, and then I think I fix up the background. Then it's under the thank you page. Just want to adjust the uh, total raise, so we've hit 130, which is great. Um, I think I go and grab a updated subscriber number, which is at 148. So I think I grab a quick screenshot of that.
and now it's under camera one. Camera one's the main view that I use when I'm racing and streaming. Um, so I'm just going to go and touch up the background there, change that uh, to the Watopia picture. I'm also going to do the same for the end results page, which is where I show the swift power details. And at the same time, I'm also going to go and um, get that prepared as well. So I usually go into the event, um, click on the live button there, and then in the Windows capture, look for the uh, window that's open. And there it is. And leave that there for when I've finished the race so that when I switch to end results, the details are there, I don't have to think about it too much. Next we set up the automatic uh, scene switching. Um, I usually use uh, time, so I set uh, each of the scenes we've got on the left hand side there to um, appear at certain times. So there are the scenes, and then we go back in and we change and make sure that we've got the camera one, camera two. Camera one will be on for five minutes and then it will switch across to camera two, and that will be on for 45 seconds, and then back to camera one again. Log in and make sure the Discord's on, and that's okay, there's no issues there. Now it's time to move the laptop across from my desk uh, onto the stand next to my bike. So we've got our laptop set up here. I wonder if I can zoom out a little bit. That might be a bit easier. There we go. Okay, so we've got a laptop set up here. Uh, reconnect everything to it. Power, because I've done that in the past where I forget to tap to connect the power. And then laptop goes flat. And that's crap, when, especially if you're winning too. Um, all right, so we've got network because certain things just don't work well over Wi-Fi. We've got the camera. He goes in. He goes in the other side here. There we go. And HDMI cable, he goes in. Done. Okay. Then we get our TV on. Turn that light on. The other light I haven't charged. So, yep, camera's there. So, we've got both lights. TV's on, computer's connected to it. Hey, you can see me there. Hello. How are you going? Okay, so camera's connected. So, the next thing I'll do is start Swift. And while that's starting, I'll go to my second lap. So we're logged into Swift here. Now, there is an update as well. So that's good. Yep, and he's updating there too. It's good. All right, so I'll wait for him. Back him up there. All right, so he's on the main screen. All right, so you can sort of see there how I'm looking. Okay, so I've got kicker, search for the heart rate monitor. That search. Yeah, there it is. Cool. All right, so we hit OK. So then we go back to our laptop, and I've got the the stream that's here ready to go. So we click on that, and then what I do is I pop out the text box, and we drag him over here. And we size him a little bit. And then we turn on source. So we've got source running. All right, maybe later we'll do the update. And then the windows start to come up there. Okay, so we've got source of Swift. So the next thing I do is go in, settings, see what the IP address is, it's 34. Go back into here and change the IP address for 34 because it's a browser or the, the writer's nearby. All right, so then on the second laptop, we log in here. Which one is it? 817. Oh, we've got an hour. So this is the second account that I've got. I don't worry about connecting anything, skip all that. And then what we're going to do is just, in this case, because we're in Watopia, it's super easy. It's just going to roots. Here it is, dust in the wind. So let's just start writing there. And then what will happen is I'll use my second account and fan view my main account. But we do need to make sure that uh, MDI scan is turned on. So what that does is it then connects to OBS and we see that same screen there. So that screen there 
is that screen there. And then of course when we sh change this to camera two, there it is. But what I do on this one though is I turn off the HUD and that's it. So we've got a warm-up screen. Um, over here we've got our chat window. Up the top we've got the Swift screens, or the uh, Source of Swift. I'll go and just follow a, um, a bot and just check the Zwift windows are all are all good. Make sure it's in first person view. Perfect. And then we go back over to camera one here. There we go. And the windows are just a bit off. all set up. We've got our second window and we should pitch to camera two. This is why usually the things are so I don't have to worry about changing them. Okay, so I think we've got it all straightened out and it all looks good. Reasonably speaking, get the hut off, there we go, it looks good. Uh, where's our timer? Our timer's not there. Perfect. Warm up. All right, so we go to manage broadcast. Select the existing broadcast. There's that one we created earlier. We're going to choose select the broadcast. We're not going to start streaming or anything. And when we're ready, we'll hit the start streaming button. Okay, so it's all done. Uh, that's what I see on my main screen, and we are ready to stream. Hey, John. Yeah, we're doing the. Uh chasing to a oh man all right so that's how we um set up a stream all right well hope you enjoyed watching that and um drop a comment in the in the in the video below if you want to let me know uh yeah if uh, if there's anything that you've got any questions about yep um i hope you enjoyed what you're watching uh hit the subscribe button hit the like button and um i'll try and catch you in the next race